We're Hudson and Emily. We are full-time travelers. We've right. traveled. <laughs> I don't like that I did that. <laughs> <laughs> We're Hudson and Emily, we are full-time travelers and we've traveled to 130 countries so far on a mission to visit every country in the world. So today we are really excited to share some packing tips for your next trip. So this is probably the most asked question that we get is what do we pack and how do we fit it into these bags? So over the course of our full-time travel, we've done everything from living in an RV to taking suitcases. And now we pack in these carry-on backpacks here. The thing that we have found most helpful is for budget airlines. They usually only allow seven kilograms or 15 pounds. But if you make the bag not look too heavy, I'd say probably 80% of the time, they don't even weigh it. So we're gonna jump right into what we pack. We've broken it down to four categories. Number one is toiletries, two clothing, three is tech, and four is a miscellaneous. At the end of the video, stick around and we'll share a website that we use to keep everything in here and make sure that we fit it within the size and weight. Well, first category is toiletries, which I think is the most overlooked. It's especially for girls, because like I like to bring my favorite shampoos and conditioners along with me. And two ways we do that are through these TSA approved quart size containers, but somehow they magically hold a lot more than you think. They are really magic that only one country and 130 has ever questioned if these are a bigger size or not. Thank you, Sweden. <laughs> but also these Go tubes by Human Gear, they're amazing because you don't have to keep buying the travel size containers. You can literally just fill up with like the big sizes of your favorite shampoo and conditioner and put them right in here. And somehow they magically hold more than you would think they would. Now, if you are pressed for room of 100 milliliters of liquid, you can also save some space by instead of taking body soap, take a bar. This is just a little pouch here that keeps all the soap from getting all over everything else but it does save space in your liquid. Category number two is clothing. So this is all the clothing that we have packed for our trip. I've got um, one for pants. I think only like three pairs of pants, five shirts, underwear, and other sort of accessories and pajamas. And then the other thing is shoes. So right now I'm not wearing any, but I literally have only one pair of sneakers and one pair of sandals. The main key that we found with shoes for us is to take all black shoes because it doesn't show dirt. And if we have to go someplace where you have to dress up, it doesn't look as much like a sneaker. But the thing that I have found also very helpful is to save space instead of taking specifically a swimsuit, just for guys, you can wear shorts and they dry out just as quick also. And I always think pack less than what you need and pack neutral colors. So I pretty much only wear black, green, gray. If you scroll through Instagram, you'll see me wearing things pretty much every day, but it allows us to travel light and I'm really thankful for that. One of our biggest tips is to pack things that you feel good in and also don't smell and wrinkle when you're stuffing them back into your backpack all the time, which if you talk to any traveler, the best way to do that is through merino wool clothing, which leads us to today's sponsor, which is Unbound Merino. They are amazing, but it's funny because HUD bought an Unbound Merino shirt years ago and I was laughing at him because I'm like, you never wash that thing. Then I realized it was a huge hack because to save time on like trying to find a laundromat or figuring out how we can do laundry on the road is so helpful. So we are big fans. It literally is kind of like a magic material and Unbound Merino is developed specifically by three guys for travel. So it is very versatile and stylish. And unlike most wools, Merino wool is very soft and comfortable also. So thanks to Unbound Merino, I now have literally been able to narrow it down to just five shirts. And I love that I can mix and match any of their clothes and it looks great with everything. So click the link down below and take a look at the men's and women's amazing clothing that they have. They have everything from pants, socks, underwear. You can get your entire travel wardrobe at Unbound Marina. Category number three is one of the heaviest for us. This is tech gear. For Han, because he mostly, yeah, you carry all of it. So in here, we put two laptops. We have our hard drive. Um, and the reason that we put it in this case, <laughs> and then we have a waterproof bag that we put it in as well, is because when we were taking a bus trip one time through Central America, 
I did spill some water on my bag, ruin one of the laptops. So now this is foolproof. And a must have when you're traveling, also a phobia of HUD's <laughs> is a portable charger because HUD loves to make sure things are charged. But inevitably, if you have an overnight bus ride or you're just out for a long day, you wanna keep your phone charged as you go. Highly recommend that. Also a must is a travel adapter here, all different countries, you plug it in, so I'll be able to use your normal computer and phone plugs. And then one of the funniest things is as much as we try to organize everything, <laughs> we found one of the best ways for all the tech gear is to put it just in Ziploc bags. These are our laptop chargers <laughs> and then all of our extra cords, we're using a lot of them right now. We just put in here, we can see them, keep them all neat and organized, use Velcro to keep them together. And same thing as clothes, the less, the better. Unfortunately, that's kind of difficult with tech things, but we each have a laptop and a camera. We used to travel with a tripod and we had like a zoom lens also, but for most of the countries that we're headed to now, we realized to save space, we just have a tiny little tripod and we have one variable lens. Um, and got rid of our zoom lens. Also, just to interject, we usually do travel with a GoPro, but we did switch to a 360 cam right now. So we're not sure how that's gonna work. Uh, we also got these mics. So hopefully our audio quality will be better in these videos. And the fourth and final category before we show you the website that we use to keep the weight and space down in our bags is miscellaneous. So there is no wrong way to travel. Like I said before, we've done all different types of travel. For us, this works best. But there is that miscellaneous category at the end that there might be some items in here that work for you and others that you might find more helpful. I think a perfect example of that is a travel pillow. So some travelers are totally for, <laughs> totally against travel pillows. I bring one, HUD doesn't. Like extra toiletries, that's another one that HUD's always laughing at me about because I like to have certain things as I'm traveling. And Neosporin is something that we normally have with us. And literally the one time that we didn't is when we got in a little scooter wipeout and wish we had it. So definitely recommend Neosporin and some band-aids. Definitely recommend anything that like you feel like feels like home in a little backpack to you. And that might look different from one traveler to another. So these are a couple of our like luxury items or miscellaneous that we find essential for us, but figure out what works best for you. One that I use all the time is some sort of travel backpack. These are actually our friends, Trip Travel Gear. They make great backpacks and it fits into this. And then I have another little like just Ziploc bag that has some band-aids, has extra like um, connectors and stuff like that just in case I lose it, and a headlamp. I've used it a lot. <laughs> I don't think mo most people probably use it. The flashlight on your phone is fine. This is something I would recommend to pretty much any traveler in almost any situation. This is the Grail water filter. And this is great because it can filter water from a river to your hostel bathroom. And we use it more so for the hostel bathroom because often we realize we get in, we want water, we aren't sure if the water is safe to drink and you can just open this up, pump the water and drink clean water. <laughs> and we do also have our own water bottles as well. <laughs> Definitely a luxury item, but we use it all the time. So instead of taking like the packable compressible water bottles, we take these too. Another thing that I like to use is a money belt. This keeps any like cash that we have on hand. And then I also keep the passports in here around my waist when we have a long travel day. So that way they can't get pickpocketed. And then the other thing is when we're traveling to countries that require a lot of visas and documentation, this is just something that is waterproof. We can stick them in, keep them all in one area back with our laptops. And then this here is very helpful for when you stay in hostels and stuff like that. Don't know how much protection it really provides, but it you can like you can log your bags to something. Just make sure that I have done this stupidly before. Don't lock it to like a chair leg or something that they can literally <laughs> just slide it up over. So this is the category that can run away from you pretty quickly, but <laughs> also makes your little backpack feel like home. Something we totally forgot is an item that we actually make. We made these hand sanitizer holders that we sell on Amazon. They clip to your bag so it doesn't count for TSA liquid. And then you just open and sanitize in the plane or wherever you are. So 
highly recommend these also, but we totally forgot our own product. So when you're packing in something this size, it's very easy to let size and weight get away from you. But something that we use that has helped us is using a website like Lighter Pack that you can visually list everything in your bag really helps you realize how much you have and the things that you don't need. So even if you don't weigh every item, maybe just weigh like your heaviest items or all your clothes together, and then just list everything and go through the list and say, if I'm not using that almost on a daily basis, I don't need it for full-time travel. You really do have to think, okay, I might like, like right now I'm like struggling with shorts. I really want to bring this pair of shorts that I've had other times, but in some of the countries that we're heading to, I just don't feel like I'm going to wear them that much. So you have to think about the amount of times that you'll wear them compared to the amount of weight that it will take in your bag. Oh, and stay out of cold weather as much <laughs> as possible. That takes up so much more room. When we were in cold weather countries, we did have these packable puffer jackets from Amazon that were super great, but it does take up a lot of space. So there you have it, our packing tips. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know. We'll link some of these things down below and subscribe for future travel tips, packing tips, and more of our trip to visit every country in the world.